everyone! So today we're going to be doing a resin turtle ocean tray. I hope you enjoy. So right here I'm just adding in a little bit of sand mixed into resin. I didn't mix in enough resin though so it was a little dry so here I'm adding a little clear for the shoreline as well as putting it on top of the sand. And as you can see I have very little resin here. This is because I'm using a leftover from some of my other resin pours. So it's a little sparse. up more resin just adding that on top and just gonna mix that up with my fingers just to break up the blue a little bit make sure it's more like a gradation versus just two solid blocks of color I'm just going to speed it up a little bit here. I'm just drizzling on the white for the waves. And as you can see, it really can just be a messy squiggly line. Doesn't have to be neat at all for this part. Now when you're using the heat gun, you want to make sure that you hold it at a very low angle. I'm holding it at maybe 45 degrees at the most. You really don't want to hold it any higher than that because your waves will just literally spread out and it'll only be webbing. There will be no definitive line for the wave. So this is just my preferred process to do that. And right here, I'm just going over everything with the torch to alleviate any air bubbles that the heat gun did not get. And also, it creates more separation for the webbing of the waves. And I'm just tilting it back and forth just to kind of simulate the actual wave motion. And it brings out, of course, more webbing, makes it more realistic. Now I'm going in with a sharp pointy stick and dipping it into my clear resin, just clear, and I am just breaking up a little bit of the white, just making it again look more realistic. This is a nice little trick if your webbing is really not what you thought it was going to look like, or if you just wanted to add in more detail, this is a wonderful trick. Great for bubbles too. apologize about the focus of this video. I was just testing out my new camera and it just would not focus on certain areas it, or it would just focus more on my hand than what I was doing. But right here I'm just adding in some little seashells, um, some just embellishment, little pearls, rhinestones, anything I thought would kind of fit into this piece. I love shiny. I always add 
shiny little objects. I think they are so cute. But you can honestly do whatever you want to the shoreline. You don't even have to add anything if you don't want to. This wouldn't be a turtle resin tray if there weren't any turtles, so just adding in a few honu here. Honu, if you didn't know, it means turtle in Hawaiian. I just think it sounds really cute too. But at first I was just gonna have, you know, mama turtle over here, but I really wanted her to have a little buddy, so put in a little baby turtle. And I was just using regular Sharpie. I do apologize, I did have some technical malfunctions when trying to film the other two waves that the turtles are sitting on. But there are two other layers of waves that I did add in. And now I'm just capping everything in a clear resin. And I will also add a little bit more webbing just on top so it looks like the turtles are just coming out of those waves. And just tilting the tray around so that the clear spreads to the corners also. It's pretty difficult to get there with your fingers or anything. It's just easier to tilt it. the webbing spread out again I just tilted the tray a little bit so that they would spread on their own. Now just going back over and further exaggerating the webbing with the torch. folks enjoyed this please like and subscribe I would greatly appreciate it I hope this helped in any of your craft projects thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time